Good evening, everyone. Tonight is Ardwin the Ant Helping Neighbors by Sharon Denise Talbert. And the illustrator is Laura Ashley Talbert. Name of the book, Ardwin. Okay. And my audience tonight is Shade and Miss Aurora. Mr. Shade and Aurora with their Mimi. Let's take a little trip down to Louisiana Bayou or Neighbors Helping Neighbors, y'all. That's just what we do. Or Dwayne the Ant lived on the bayou under the Fontenot's Bakery and Flour Mill. He lived there with all of the other ants in the big ant hill. In the morning, when Ardwan got out of bed, he liked to go and watch his neighbor, Mr. Fontenot, make bread. This went on day after day, and when Mr. Fontenot was done, Ardwan would gather some crumbs and go on his way. Mr. Fontenot never seemed to mind. He was a good neighbor, generous and kind. But one morning there was no Mr. Fontenot and there was no bread. I hope Mr. Fontenot is okay, thought Ardwan filled with dread. Unlike Ardwan with his big aunt family, Mr. Fontenot was all alone and very old. Remember, things are not always what they seem. There is just a little bit more to this story to be told. You see, Mr. Fontenot was very poor. Even though he worked really hard, he needed all the money he could make and then some more. If for one day he couldn't work, if he was ill, he would lose his bakery and his flour mill. When Ardwell found Mr. Fontenot, it was obvious he couldn't work because he was quite sick. Then and there, Ardwell knew he had to think of something quick. Look at him thinking, Shade, just like you, honey. I've Got it, cried Ardwell, with a smile on his face. With the help of my friends and family, we can save Mr. Fontenot's place. So, Ardwell, Ardwell, gather ants. For years, we have lived off the crumbs of his bread. Oh, come on now. It won't hurt us to help out while Mr. Fontenot is sick. Ardwen said. Well, jumping jackrabbits, jackrabbits, mercy me. What happened next will surely be a sight to see. It was a whole army of ants that climbed out of the anthill, up the wall and over the windowsill. Look at there. From watching Mr. Fontenot so long, Ardwen knew two ways to make bread, the right and the wrong. Yep. At first, things were a little crazy and unordered. You see, the other ends didn't know how to get started. But Ardwen soon got all of those ants on the right track. He gave out his orders from the top of the flower stack. Oh, yes. Soon they all had the bread made, and thanks to those itty-bitty ants, Mr. Fontenot's Bakery and Milk were saved. 
Although Mr. Fontenot didn't know who had helped him on that day, he was so thankful anyway. Although I still, although I still came day every day to watch Mr. Fontenot make bread. But now along with him came his grandsons, T-Boy and Wilfred. T-Boy and Wilfred wanted to learn how to make bread too. If anything were to happen to Mr. Fontenot and Ordway, then they would know what to do. When Mr. Fontenot was sick, the ants kept things going. Mr. Fontenot lived on happily, never knowing. <laughs> The moral of this story is very simple indeed. Lend a helping hand to someone in need. Care for one another and be a good friend. Faith and hope are wonderful things, but the greatest is love. The end. Look at that. Or when his family came to help Mr. Fontenot and they thought he never knew they were helping or when the ant said and my audience and grandchildren with Mimi. Thank you.